So next, till previous, we have created a folder structure under Maven project. What framework structure we want, we created. All the framework structure we created. So under SRC test Java, we created a features folder, page objects so package, step definition package, test runner package, utilities pa no package, all packages we created. We're ready now. Now we need to create a feature file. So basically we are automating this website. So admin demo, nopecommerce.com slash login. This is the website we are going to automate. So that steps I already given in our blog. The, you create a file, login.feature file you create. Go and create a file first. So how to create a file under, select the features folder, right click, new file. If you don't see file, go to other, and you can see the file option, okay? So if I will showing you somebody not having file option, go to other, set here file. You will get option under general, you will get a file option. Select the file option, click on next and give the login dot feature. That's it. So click on finish. So then you will see this cucumber icon. This is the indication if you install JVM Eclipse plugin, this Cucumber icon, it will show. So this is the Cucumber uh, feature file. This is the feature file structure you got already. Right? The structure you got it already. Just uh, no, copy paste this entire thing. Feature name, feature onward, you copy paste this both scenario and scenario open also. So first scenario will uh, finish it. So everybody, so everything clear it, or you want to keep, keep it something. Otherwise you just clear from this, uh, from this to till end, I'm going to copy paste. So this is our uh, scenario, see? I'm going to give information, see? Okay, just author name or whatever you want it. Not necessary this one, but you can add a feature, login feature, the scenarios. You can observe here I'm adding both the scenario and scenario outline. I'm demoing here scenario and scenario outline how to create a feature files. First, let's create a feature file. So we are creating a feature file. So scenario is successful login with the valid credentials. Given, I want to open Chrome browser and user opens URL. This is the URL we want to open. If you keep in double quotes, that is a parameter. So the value, it will take automatically. When user enters email as a admin at the rate store.com and password as a admin and click on login button. Then page title should be dashboard no commerce administration. And when user clicks on logout link, then page title should be your store login and close the browser. So this is the one simple scenario we created. So Scenario outline, I told you already, it is used to do a data driven testing. So, data driven testing. So, data driven testing. So, we can do with the scenario outline keyword, right? So, that's what I am doing. Scenario outline. So, you can select under control F, it will format nicely. You don't need to struggle also. So if you the order it is not there, you can control A and even right click. So you can get an option here uh, or control shift F or pretty format you can. So automatically it will format. Okay, either one you can do control shift F or pretty format you can right click. 
you can do pretty format also. It will clearly put your entire lines in the order. See, it's keeping in the order. F capital feature, colon. Scenario, colon. Scenario outline, colon. So given after no colon, see, given after one space, then your scenario, the step name. So and see, given after also we used and. When after also we used and. Then, when, then, again and is there. See, everywhere, even when, then after you can use and keyboard. Clear? I want to show, that's why I created this scenario. And scenario outline is followed by example section. This example section. See, whatever the parameter you have given, the parameter name is your uh, table heading. The parameter name is a uh, table heading. It's the first uh, feature file we have created. So scenario outline, see I'm testing for valid credentials and invalid credentials. So that the test case will Take for both of them. You can observe the same steps only, but here uh, we are taking parameters. Here we have hard coded, but here we are giving a parameter. We are giving a parameter here. That's the difference. If you want single step, use scenario. If you want to give multiple sets of data for same parameters, and you can use scenario outline. That's a scenario outline mainly for data driven testing purpose. You will use. Okay, this is the first feature file we have created. So now we need to create a page of this. With all these pages we need to identify and respective methods we need to write on those piece objects. Let's go and create the piece objects. So which page is this login page, right? So create a login page class under page objects of package. Right click on the page objects package. New Java class you create. Login page. Just a class, plain Java class you create. So then, Hi, Ravi. Um, sorry, I just joined. I'll be just watching. Thank you. So, good Yeah. So, public class login page. You're just uh, creating the login page. And that we have to so implement this login page. Okay. Login page, just implement. Public. So, web driver. So, driver, you have to implement. And then create a, you already know, we need to create the constructor. So create a constructor. So login page constructor we have to create. Public. So login page and the web driver, a driver. Uh, so we have to, so maybe uh, this local driver and remote driver, you can separate otherwise. This dot driver equal to driver you can assign. And then we have to instantiate page factory class. Page factory, I need elements. So we already done this and I'm keep utilizing this driver and Page is this page we need to instantiate. So then identify all the page elements. You know what are all the page elements? How to identify? At the date, find by. So I can use ID equal to ID value. So what is that ID equal to ID value? Take this email edit box ID. So what is that? Uh, and take the ID value, email, just take email. Go and write this. So you can write private web element. 
So email edit box. That's it. So import this to find by and web element. Both you can import. You already know page objects how to implement. We are all familiar. We have done extensively in a hybrid framework. Same thing you do for the other elements also. Find by. I'll use name locator. I'll, I'll recommend, recommend. So one more time to recognize you all the locators. So I don't know. People are forgetting uh, locators. You should not forget the locators. And I'll uh, just make you to remember the locators. ID, name, class name, XPath, CSS selector. These are the locators, right? Those locators, one more time, will remember all of them. Password, edit box. So next, next, what is the element? Add the rate find by so let's go and login button right next to login button so this login button also you identify the button type is there you can take the class also there if you want this a selector you can write or x path you can write whichever you like whichever you want to take you can take it down and i'll write a uh, css selector or x path whatever it is. So let me take the CSS selector. Uh, I'll add CSS selector. CSS equal to, uh, it's in double quotes, tag name dot the class value. So the class value, wherever spaces are there, you have to remove the spaces, right? With a dot. Then, so private web element login button. So these are the elements we need. So these elements we have to identify. And then one more element also we need to do that, right? That is uh, after login, you have one more element. Log out. So log out also, you identify that. So we can implement, meanwhile, you can write until it loads at the rate, find by um, two. Let's see hex path will write. Hex path equal to that hex path will write. Below you can write private web element logout link. It's a logout link. So on these elements, we have to write a setter getter methods you can develop, right? So for the email, I want to set the email. I want to set the password. I want to click on login button. I want to click on logout link. So you write the public methods, right? So public void set email. So setter method and the user will give this, right? String email. email. So First, I'm going to clear the content inside the email edit box. So write clear the content, clear, clear method I'm calling. Then type it, dot send keys, so the email. Same way you develop for the password, password. public wide set password. So string password. So then the element name dot clear the content inside the password and then type in that email edit box. So that is password. 
password. So then we have to do click on login button. Login button. So public. So wide click login button. button. So you can do uh, element dot login button dot click. Click method. So then even same you can do for logout also. Logout link, right? So logout link dot click. Right, so that's the uh, development are the page objects we have developed for the login feature. This is the link. So you can write a link, right? Link text you can write. So link text you can write directly. I'll use Insta of XPath. Link I'll write. Link, place it here. Link text. Right, so that's the uh, piece we have developed for the login feature. That page related elements I have identified and then respective methods I have written for these elements. So this is the page object model we are implementing. 